acute illness is one of the places where we find we use many remedies for someone. This is presuming I have not found your true similima, but you end up with the flu. I'm going to try to find you a remedy that is a very similar to the kind of flu you're suffering from. Homeopathy got famous and continues to be famous because of acute remedies. We treat all kinds of acute illnesses, whether they're caused by a bacteria or a virus, doesn't matter, or falling down, right? Um, <clears throat> we have a lot of success with acute treatment. But when you have the flu, you're probably more like another person with the flu than you are like yourself. So what people end up saying to me, or to you, I'm sure, I'm not myself today, right? That's a very common thing that people say. What that means is that something else has taken over. And you are now actually behaving more like a person with the flu than you are like yourself. And that's why an acute remedy that works for your flu is very likely going to be an acute remedy that works for someone else's flu. Because when we have the flu or a cold or the measles, we're more like a person with the flu, a cold, or, a me or the measles than we are like ourselves. So we've been able to figure out certain remedies that work really well for those ailments. And we have a lot of success. Our most famous remedy <clears throat> is Arnica Montana, right? And one of the reasons it's so famous is because athletes and all kinds of people use it. We all have injuries, don't we? So if you're walking down the street, you fall off the curb, and you bang your knee hard, and you find yourself sitting there with this incredibly bruised knee and it's bleeding, and everyone rushes up to you and says, oh my God, should I call an ambulance? Can I help? Can I help? your most likely response is going to be, I'm OK. And you try to get up, and you're going to try to walk away. You could have even broken your knee kneecap. Who knows? But your, the typical human response at a moment like that is, I'm OK. That's a very Arnica kind of thing to be able to do. So when you fall and get hurt, you're more like an Arnica person than you are like yourself. Something takes over, and it's like, I'm OK. Leave me alone. And that's why the remedy Arnica has been so useful for injuries, because that's the typical response for Arnica. Most of our serious issues in life are chronic, I believe, right? We don't go from one acute illness to another. Well, if you have a compromised immune system, you might. But most of us suffer from chronic problems. And most of the problems that we see medicines being created for are chronic problems on all three levels, right? Physical, mental, and emotional. We consider those to be the three levels that we deal with in homeopathy. The mental level is the deepest. So if you have mental problems, pretty much that's as bad as it gets. Alzheimer's is a very good example of that. By the time you've got sort of a deep-rooted Alzheimer's, it doesn't matter. If your leg hurts, you're not even going to remember it, right? You don't remember your family. So it's most important to be healthy on the mental level. And then there's the emotional level. We know how important that is. It's different from mental. It's not like Alzheimer's. It's emotional. But if you're incredibly sad or depressed, <clears throat> you're not really going to be able to accomplish much in your life, are you? And needless to say, really, really serious depression leads to, you know, suicide, which is the ultimate. There's no treating you after that. So the emotional level is very important and very serious. And then we have the physical. Most of us like to complain about our physical complaints, right? Right? What do we have? We have skin problems. We get headaches. We get migraines. We get menstrual cramps. We have all kinds of physical problems, athlete's foot. And so a lot of people come to homeopathy for these kinds of problems. They're not acutes, because athlete's foot is seldom an acute. I mean, if you came within the first week or two of getting it at the gym, it might be considered an acute. 
and it would probably be very easy to clear up. But most people come with perhaps acute problems that have turned into chronic problems. Arthritis, right, is a big one. Pain in general. So for these people, we need to find, I think, very close similars to them. Not to their, just their problems, but to them, to the total person. And that's one of the other principles of homeopathy that we deal with, the totality. So I'd be looking to see you as a total person, not just your arthritis, but as a total person. 